Good morning. It is Monday, May 30th. Today is Memorial Day. It's the unofficial start of summer, but more importantly, it's a weekend that marks the sacrifice that so many have given. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm Melissa Ebkin. I'm the pastor of the Christian churches in Iliopolis in Niantic, Illinois. I'm the founder of Melissa Ebkin Light Life and Love Ministries, and this is an outreach effort to reach those who don't have a church home or who may be spiritual but not religious. And I'm the host of the Pursuing Uncomfortable podcast. I want to talk to you today about one thing you can do in your life that's going to turn it around. And I want to start, though, by talking about what today means to me and to so many. Today's Memorial Day. This day is the day that marks the sacrifice and remembers the sacrifice that so many men and women have given, the ultimate sacrifice, so that we can have the life that we have in this country today. This weekend, I made a lot of choices. I chose where I was going to go shop for groceries. I chose to go to church. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of expected to be there, but still, I have the choice to do that. I have the choice to be at church. I can walk there openly. I can walk there. I can drive there. I can tell people I'm going to be there, and I can publicly invite others to be there. We have all of these options and choices in our lives because of the sacrifices others have made, because they chose to stand up to tyranny so that we could have the life that we have. So today we honor them. Gratitude is a powerful, powerful trait and a powerful choice that we can make. Not only is it appropriate on this day to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice, but gratitude can change our lives and turn everything over on a dime. You know, there's a lot of bad news out there. A lot. This past week saw some, some really heavy things come out. There was a report of abuse in America's largest Protestant denomination, and it was malicious. The report was bad. There was a lot of terrible stuff in that report. A lot of people covered it up. A lot of people worked to make it happen, and it just wasn't good. Then there was the school shooting, and that hit us all really hard. A lot of heavy stuff. We're watching the numbers on the gas price pump just keep turning higher and higher. Food prices are going up. The economy, the Dow Jones is dropping as the other prices are going up and oh, there's just so much. And I encounter a lot of people who are just angry or fearful or hopeless or anxious and there's so much heaviness out there. And today I want to talk about that. I want to talk about this. Yes, a remote control. Follow me on this one. If you watch TV, probably most of us do a little bit and probably more than we'd like to admit, but there it is. So as you're watching TV, you see something, eh, don't really want to get into that. So what do you do? You change the channel. Or you've, you're watching a show that you've watched for quite a while and you know, it's just, it's really starting to get too much. It's just not something I want to invest in anymore. So what do you do? To change the channel or you start a movie it looks like it's gonna be great and you're really gonna like it it's not really what you signed up for so what do you do you change the channel we can do that in our spiritual lives as well we can change the channel the best way to do that is with gratitude Whenever you're in the midst of anger or you're in the midst of anxiety or hopelessness or fear, whatever it is, recognize it, take a breath, and just immediately come up with three things that you can be grateful for. Did you get out of bed this morning? Are you drawing breath into your lungs? Do you have friends, family, loved ones? Do you have possessions around you? Can you choose what you're going to eat that day? Did you pick out the clothes you were going to wear? If you said yes to any of these, then you have a life of blessing. Change the channel, take a breath, 
see what you're thankful for. Count your blessings. And make that a part of every day, and it's going to change your outlook on life. But when you can do it in those moments of acute stress, acute fear, hopelessness, discouragement, any of those times, it's like changing the channel. So that's my invitation for you this week. This is going to be a short message this morning. It is a holiday weekend. We're going to go uptown and mark this somber remembrance, and then we're going to go and celebrate this time that we have together today. So I want to leave you with that this week. Every time you look at this remote, I want you to remember you have the power within you. You have the power within here in your heart and in here in your mind to change the channel in your life and in your outlook and in your perspective. Use that power, my friends. It can change things for you. It can turn your day around. It can turn your week around. It can turn your situation around. So that's my prayer for you this week is that you can figure out how to change your channel and turn it into gratitude. So enjoy your week, and I'll see you back here again next Monday. Bye for now.